so we're just going to go direct into the eyeshadow and i'm just taking this coppery shade from the burgundy bar the burgundy bar was um an eyeshadow palette by maybelline this eyeshadow palette was specifically designed like for fall like when it came out it was like a fall palette and unfortunately here in kenya there is no seasons whatsoever there's only the hot and the cold season so what do we do we use these palettes at any time of the year any day any time so that's what i'm doing i'm just taking that shade it was like a reddish coppery shade yeah it was like copper but with some kind of reddish undertones and i'm just applying it all over my eyelids now the reason i didn't show you what i used to prime my eyelids and also to define my brows is because the whatever concealer i used was not from maybelline unfortunately i'm yet to purchase a maybelline concealer so we're just going to use this eyeshadow first just know that I primed my lids with a concealer. I'm just making sure to dab with that entire eyeshadow all over my eye area, all over, all over, like all the way to the brow bone, all the way to my eyelids. Now I'm just taking this copper shade. That is literally a copper shade. And I'm just applying it from my crease all the way to my eyelashes that area in between what is known as my eyelids and i'm just making sure to dab 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 all over my eyelids and i'm just going to take this champagne it's like it's not gold it's not silver looks champagne like uh, color and I'm just applying it like on the outer corner of my eyelids And now I'm taking this silvery one that has very many glitters. It's not even glitters, it's a metallic shade, but it, it's like silvery. And I'm just going to apply it on the inner corners of my eye. And also like just near my eyelashes, basically. That's where I'm going to apply this shade. Now what I've noticed about this palette, because I've never used any Maybelline eyeshadow before, what I've noticed is that it's really, um, what is it called? It's not powdery, it's, it comes off easily, like it's, can't say it's super pigmented, it's just pigmented okay, but uh, the pigments come off easily and also apply really easily, that's what I've noticed. The pigmentation may not be so strong, but they, they are easy to apply. And now I'm just taking a blending brush and I'm just trying to blend all those colors nicely so that they don't create harsh lines. Although all the colors were almost similar, but uh, yeah, you'll just see. It, 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 it's going to blend nicely. And now I'm just taking this eyeliner, which was the Maybelline Hyper Precise All Day Eyeliner. And also I'm taking this mascara and I'm just going to do the eyeliner off camera because I'm not really that good with eyeliner. As I said, I'm not a fan of eyeliner. I think I've ever said in a previous video, I'm not really a fan of eyeliner. I'm the kind of person who can totally live without eyeliner. Uh, but I'm just going to test it. And what I noticed about this specific eyeliner is that it was not so black 
when, when I opened it at first, it looked black, but it wasn't so black. And now I'm just taking that foundation you've seen there, which is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 352, which I discovered is not my shade. And not only is it not my shade, but it's actually darker. It appears lighter when you're applying, but when I take photos with it, because I've been using it for a while, it's actually darker. So if you're my skin tone, don't take this 352, it's actually darker. And I'm just dabbing it with a, a flat topped brush. I'm just dabbing it in, dabbing it, dabbing it. Don't brush it because it will make streaks or lines all over the foundation. So you just dab it in. And if you feel that you've applied excess or whatever, you can always go in with a beauty blender. But I don't normally apply excess, so I'm just dabbing it in. And I love that the this foundation like apart from the color problem it's a really nice lightweight foundation that dries down really really fast and really really easily and it's very lightweight as i've said so lightweight you don't even feel as if you've applied anything now this is the concealer i used to prime my eyes that's why i didn't mention it because it's not by maybelline it's actually by illegal now this is the illegal pro concealer the pro conceal yeah pro conceal concealer in the shade phone i'm just going to take a little bit because this entire video is all about maybelline we actually want to see how this uh, all these maybelline products will look in the end because i see a lot of reviews that say that maybelline oh is so bomb is so what is so what all over when you go on instagram everywhere so and even where i bought i bought this on jumia all these products have like an, a five star rating or at least a four point something rating so um, I'm seeing so I'm just dabbing that concealer I just used very little as I said because this is all about me being very little just to apply under my eyes very little I've not even used it to contour anything or anything of the sort And I'm just going to take this Fit Me Maybelline Matte and Powerless Powder in the shade 350 which is Caramel and I'm just going to apply it all over my face. I've ever used another Fit Me powder and I loved it. But those days I never used to like apply a full face of anything. I just used to like apply the powder directly. I never used to like applying foundation for some weird reason. Uh, but I, what I can say about this powder is that it's worth it. If you have the money or if you feel that you need an affordable product that is extremely expensive, this one is worth it. I, I'd advise you to buy this one. Just go to the shop and buy this with milk powder. Next we have this Master Chrome Highlighter that we're going to use to like highlight our lips because our face, face is setting though I didn't apply so much powder but I'll go in with a brush afterwards so I'm just applying that highlighter on my lip and I'm just taking this 385 Ruby for me lipstick which is a made for all lipstick by Maybelline and you'll later see in this video, I wanted to remove this part, but I was actually like, uh, let me not remove it because uh, I already did this. Now, this made for all lipstick. <laughs> it's a made for all lipstick, meaning it's suitable for all skin shades. But there's a catch. It's not suitable for all lip sizes, to be honest. Like if you have massive African lips, ooh. It suits you to blend it with something else and I realized later that actually this was a mistake because I was looking a bit too much as if I'm going for on the runway or something or I'm going for a photo shoot which I'm not going for a photo shoot so as you can see I look a bit ridiculous it's good for different skin tones but definitely not good for all lip sizes
here I had to remove it to be honest because I hadn't blended it in with another lipstick and I didn't have any other Maybelline lipstick that might blend in well with that one so just to avoid issues I have other lipsticks that um, do blend in well with it but they are not by Maybelline so I just removed it Just taking this color sensational lipstick by Maybelline in possessed plum now this one is a bit like favorable to thick lips so <laughs> I, I, I prefer this one over that ruby one though the ruby one is really bright and nice but eh, you saw what happened eh? hey And to be honest, I'm not a fan of this applicator. I don't know whether all Maybelline lipsticks have such an applicator or whether it was like, um, it's been changed because I bought this a while ago, maybe like one year or one and a half years ago. Yeah, don't hit on me if it's expired or whatever. It's still good. It's still good. I still use it. And uh, that applicator doesn't apply well, to be honest. It's really long and really awkward. But the color itself is bomb. I love this color. Like it's my go-to lipstick when I'm in a hurry, going somewhere nice and I didn't plan ahead. This is what I normally pick. So I love this one. And using the same, um, using I'm just using a, a bronzer shade. It's not a bronze by Maybelline. No, it's just a shade that I normally use to bronze. And um, also going in with that highlighter, the same highlighter that you saw by Maybelline, which is the Master Chrome in the shade Molten Gold. That's the one I'm going to use to highlight. And I haven't found like a good brush for like highlighting because this is just tricky. Sorry guys, but I tend to apply my highlight really streaky, but I normally go in with like something else to like blend it out. So that's okay with me don't be streaky like me make sure you use a, a brush a proper brush and just actually like brush it a bit properly So this is the final look guys i really love their products by the way the finish was good especially the foundation i'd definitely purchase this foundation again and i'd also purchase that um what is it called the powder and also their highlighter they are really really good i love their lipsticks also however there's only one small thing uh that temptation this one the total temptation mascara i don't know whether i got a bad one but it was really really dry you can't compare it to this other one this other mega colossal one was good it was perfect i loved it and yeah i'll see you in my next video